So I've been playing Escape from Tarkov for a little over a month now, and one of the things I really like doing once I learned this system existed is going into the weapon presets and trying to make the best, most godly version of every weapon. And I thought, why not make a video on it so it's much easier for other people that want to use the best weapons but don't want to look through a hundred items for a single weapon to try to figure out what all of the best items were. And also you have to examine all those items so they don't want to spend an hour examining the thousands of weapon parts in this game. And why not start off with the classic M4. Now with these builds they're going to be pretty much the best items so they're going to be pretty expensive. There's going to be a few variations mainly in sights and specifically with this build there's one item that can make the build slightly better but for the price I don't think it's worth it and we'll go over that when we get to it. So we're just going to go around to every single part. I'll tell you guys a name so it's much easier. I'll probably have it in the description so you guys can copy and paste the item name and just copy it into the flea market and buy it if you want to buy it or I guess just place it on the weapon and then do the assembly. So first off the site. This you can change anytime you want whatever site you want to use. Mine's a bit expensive. I am using the EOTech HHS1 site tan. I'm using the tan just because it's cheaper. You can use the other colors if you want. I like this site because it's pretty much a scope on the back of a hollow. You're going to pop the scope down, use the hollow, have the scope in for more magnification. It's one of my favorite sites but this is the one that uses whatever you want to use. It's a site. It's much more personal preference than actual stats. Most of them are going to reduce ergo. Pretty similar. Smaller sites might do a little less but that's pretty much up to what you want to do. Also this build is a bit more focused on, verti on recoil reduction. Ergo is still pretty good but I think with weapons like this the recoil is much more important so we went as much recoil as possible but you still have pretty decent ergo with this as well. And then we're using the Magpul MBUS Gen 2 rear sight. Now you have a rear sight and a front sight have the same thing and if you already have a sight on the weapon and you put these sights on they are automatically put down and what these do is they both give one ergo. So 66 we put this back on they're really cheap and they give one ergo a piece. So that's also for the front sight. The front sight is Magpul MBUS Gen 2 same thing and just put those two on they're pretty cheap they give two free ergo. Then we're using the SAI 14.5 inch QD rail foregrip for AR-15. So that is pretty much the rail we are using. We are even using the Raptor charging handle for AR-15. There are two colors of this. If they're different colors like there's a gray there's the other color. If you don't care about the colors just choose the cheapest one on the flea market. It's usually the base colors. Usually the other colored one are usually cheaper but like this one for the tan is cheaper just because people probably don't like the look of it. For the barrel we're using the 370 millimeter barrel for AR-15 and compatible 5.56 times 5.4. Might as well give you guys the full name so you know exactly what it is. Now for the buffer tube and stock. This is where you can actually spend a lot more money and get a slight increase. So what we are using we are using the SI Advanced Receiver Extension Buffer Tube. Now there's the same thing just an anodized red and this gives 4% accuracy. That's pretty much all it gives and the difference is the one we're using the SI Advanced Receiver Extension Buffer Tube that's not anodized red is about 12 to 15k usually. The red one with 4% increased accuracy is about 120k. I don't think that's really necessary or worth the 120k or the over 100k increase in price but if you want to do the absolute absolute best you can get that. I just don't think it's worth it. It's not going to give a much for how expensive it actually is. So that's the only thing that can be I guess slightly improved in this full recoil build and we are using as we went over the SI Advanced Tube with the HKE1 stock for AR-15 compatible. This is the best recoil stock. You can use stuff like the MOE Carbine stock, the Magpul ones. I think they give almost the same recoil reduction. They're slightly less. They don't give as much but they give a bit more ergonomics if you want to go a little bit more into that. For the Mag we're using the Magpul PMAG the 60 round round drum ones. Um, there's another 60 mag the Mag 560 which are just like the thicker mags. It gives like load and unload slower and mag check slower which is pretty much the only reason you go with a round drum. There's also the Hunter rounder if you really want to do that that's going to give you like a lot less ergo and stuff but if you want to do that you can go ahead and do that. Or if you just want to use 30 rounders they're going to give you they're not going to be as bad of a ergo hit to the weapon so if you want to use just 30s I'd recommend 60s because it's a fully automatic weapon that you can fully automatic spray with really good recoil. For the pistol grip we are using the HK Ergo PSG1 style pistol grip for AR-15 based systems. The one with the little stamp or stump at the bottom of it. Then we're using the Victor Mur 15 5.56 upper receiver for AR systems. And for the grip we are using the Magpul MLOC 
0.1 inch guide so you have to put the guide on i don't know why this symbol is in the way but it's right here you have the name and then we are using the zenit rk2 foregrip this is the best recoil grip in the game for pretty much everything you put it on if i'm not mistaken you can do some other grips that are almost similar recoil just not as good with a lot more ergo if you want to do that but this is the absolute best for recoil and then we are using the jp enterprises gas system 5d which i think this just does i think this just does like an ergo or something i don't know if this does anything else very much but it does help slightly then we're using the sai jailbreak 556 times 45 for ar15 this is pretty big for the recoil and then we have the bullet tech st 60112 556 by 45 flash hider for ar15 these two things massive recoil reduction one of the most important parts of the build now if you want to use a tactical device this is one of the cheapest the hollow sun ls321 tactical device you don't have to use this you don't have to use any tactical tactical device any flashlight anything like that if you don't want to but you have the options to put any flashlights any tack devices anything like that on it you want just slap whichever one you want on it on whichever side of the rifle on the top on the sides whichever way you want you can change that up how you want and that is the entirety of the build this is just the front mag pool site we went over for the extra ergo so that is the entirety of the build like i said i'm not going to go over prices i will have all of these items names in the description if you guys want to check them item by item and if not just go in the presets save this as a preset and you can go ahead and assemble it and put it on any m4 you want also i will probably have footage of me using this at the shooting range and in offline mode matches just so i can show you guys this weapon how it works against scabs and stuff like that so take that consideration there probably will be offline footage that won't be online footage so nothing's actually happening besides showing combat so that's what i want to go over the best recoil on an m4 you can possibly get so subscribe if you want to see more escape from tarkov videos i'll be trying to do these for pretty much every weapon overall what i think is the best builds for them so if you want to see that make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching
Как до Каспария, ты реально говоришь? Понял, я понял. Вот. Эй, ты куда пошел? 